production. Sorry, I've been uh, MIA here. I've been a little sick under the weather. Uh, <clears throat> had to take care of some other people that were sick, including my girlfriend. And uh, so just wanted to get back with you guys, um, kind of check out some of the things on the store. Uh, we had some great news. Dragon Ball Fighters finally got its season three announcement, and we got Ultra Instinct, Goku, and Kefla coming. Uh, so hopefully everything is going good. You can hear me okay. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've been on the channel, but without further ado, just wanted to hang out and let you guys get to know me a little bit. Uh, if we're just chilling, I'm probably going to dim my light down here just a little bit so it's not flashing right in me. As always, we got our uh, handy dandy Arizona. Uh, I need to really uh, keep up with my vitamins. I went to buffet today, got some Mongolian beef. Uh, so hope you guys are having a great day. Um, but I was just kind of flipping through the store here and uh, wanted to just show you guys a couple things and then play some Devil May Cry 5 with uh, Dante, get a little Dante episode in there. But um, yeah, guys, just want to know if you, uh, I'm a PlayStation gamer, so uh, it's, you know, I'm definitely a fan of all gaming, but that's just kind of what I'm playing right now. Uh, we got some cool, awesome free themes. I know there was uh, a Last of Us one going around. I'm not sure if I missed it, but uh, in case you guys don't check, always check to make sure the theme, yeah, looks like we got it right here. Uh, the free Last of Us 2 uh, theme that I'm just going to download and show you guys quick so we can get a quick uh, peek at that. Looks really awesome. Really want to uh, just apply this right away so I can show you guys. And I just want to go and uh, check out the game, some of my trophies with you. And you can, uh, you know, just get to know the kind of gamer I am. I know I've only kind of been playing a few games and it's just so hard to find the time to... Uh, you know, sit in front of a camera for three hours, which is what I do a lot of the time anyway. But, um, but, uh, figured I would just get back to you guys here, play some games, uh, just taking a little bit of a break from, uh, uh, life is strange. Uh, it's, I will be uploading the next episode soon. I definitely want to finish that game before Neo 2 comes out. And uh, looks like we just got a lot of cool things. I, darn, I saw a really cool PlayStation uh, kind of ad they had up. But let's check out the new theme here. Oh, it looks amazing. Looks like we got some really cool, gritty shots of Ellie uh, coming out in May now. They pushed it back. Uh, just more gameplay for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is the new free theme. So make sure to check out your PlayStation store regularly and get all the free goodies that they like to put out. Um, so I'm glad I got to check that out. I've been playing so Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, uh, kind of a different style game than Metal Gear, but uh, I've been checking that out a little bit. Uh, of course, we did Life is Strange 2. There is Captain Spirit that the uh, uh, physical copy came with. It came with everything. Uh, I mentioned I've been playing Resident Evil Revelations. I never actually beat Skyrim, so I picked it up at... Uh, at a GameStop sale, and I've kind of been trickling through that. I've only posted one gameplay, I believe, uh, on the <clears throat> Twitch channel, but uh, I'm going to be getting back to that uh, when I can. Anyway, move along, of course, more Bethesda. Got the Fallout 4, was checking that out a little bit. Uh, PlayStation Now is actually adding a lot of, um, I'd say, some uh, higher quality games since they kind of took out uh, they don't add PS Vita games anymore, even PS3 games, I believe. Uh, so I like to keep up on that. And they have been adding, you know, Horizon. Uh, they just added uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy and a couple other games I mean to check out. But uh, I know that uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance only has, uh, I think, like 85 days left. So I really want to make sure to uh, play that and maybe even stream a couple because the action in that game is crazy awesome. The cinematography and the choreography uh, are just mind-blowing really so uh, this is kind of what i've been playing lately uh buddy kevlo is playing infinite warfare we get some uh some good zombies and i haven't really played in a minute uh but i definitely want to hop on more when i get better from being sick so speaking of which i'll probably just uh have a nice hearty swig of this uh arizona rx energy right now again 300 calories 100 percent of vitamin c daily uh, it's more of a herbal tonic than an energy drink. So, again, really recommend it. Refreshing. Not a product placement at all. Just really fucking good stuff. Uh, so, anyway, always a huge fan of Resident Evil. I mean, uh, if we look at the trophy, I actually find this really interesting that only 5.8% of people beat this game uh, on normal difficulty or higher. 
can see it right here. Uh, so that's kind of crazy to me that only about 6% of people actually have beaten the first remake of Resident Evil on PlayStation anyway. Um, so always kind of like just go back and have some fun with that. Uh, I've been meaning to get some more Resident Evil 7 stuff, but let's just take a look at the uh, trophies real quick. So as you can see, uh, you could scroll for a very, very long time. This is all my games that I've played. Uh, and I had to reset my account, so I've actually had to replay a lot of games that I lost. Uh, this is all the games. We're just still going here. So, yeah, when I first got my PlayStation, I uh, really hit The Witcher very hard. Um, I just want to make a few highlights of games that I thought maybe really uh, stood out. War of the Monsters, classic PS2 game. I'm not sure if, how many of you played that, but let me know in the comments if you have. Uh, this is an amazing an arena box fighter with... Uh, just classic iterations of, you know, uh, big beasts like King Kong and Godzilla and kind of just throws you in this own uh, re-envisioning of an arena fighter with a bunch of monsters. Of course, we play Resident Evil Zero, Tales from the Borderlands, the Telltale games. Uh, always recommend gamers and non-gamers alike to check out um, any Telltale game. They're more of a play-your-own episodic game, kind of like Life is Strange. Uh, but Tells is amazing. We, of course, we got the Platinum for all those games. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. This is the OG. I have played the uh, 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 remake as well by Blue Point. Uh, amazing stuff. Yeah, so you'll pretty much see I've played every Resident Evil No Man's Sky. Uh, a lot of these indie games I like to check out just to really give the love. I think that... Uh, you know, in these indie games, you have to think way more creatively. And uh, it's nice to kind of take a break from these triple a big budget blockbuster crazy head ass uh 50 million dollar budget games and just play something with a little more thought uh even deadly tower monsters was uh kind of one of those games for me that really deserve a huge shout out uh, of course we uh platinum dragon ball xenoverse 2 they've had a lot of dlc that i haven't gotten to i think my buddy jer bear has but uh anyway minecraft story mode another telltale game uh transformers devastation actually i have some pretty hardcore trophies here with these uh basically defeating all of the uh bosses without taking any damage on the hardest difficulty so i will you know only 0.2 percent of everybody that's played this game has done this and if you know i've got some chops so i've gotten these trophies <coughs> wish i had gameplay of that but uh yeah transforms devastation uh, awesome cell shaded game uh by platinum games actually uh, if only Arc System Works animated that game. Last Guardian was amazing stuff. We waited for that game for like 10 years. Finally came out. Uh, you know, maybe let some people down, but the quality was still there, 100%. Uh, of course, we played Inside, uh, Day of the Tentacle. I actually okay, haven't played that much of Day of the Tentacle. I keep trying to go back to it, but I never seem to um, actually compete completely play. King's Quest was uh, awesome. Uh, point and click adventure kind of in the realm of day of the tentacle and stuff like uh, full throttle and stuff like that um but uh yeah pretty much played all those dragon age i keep trying to come back to you know these uh but these are the games i just can't really uh you know i really got to come back and uh and check some of these out I, I keep finding things to play but of course you know it's hard to find all the time in the world but as you can see i've definitely put a lot of, uh, final fantasy we did just get the kingdom hearts 3 uh, DLC Remind. Let me know what you guys think about that. I have to rebind the game to uh, play the DLC. Um, so we'll see if we uh, actually get around to really doing that. Uh, yeah, but basically, uh, Lords of the Fallen, anything with that Dark Souls like experience, I'm really into. I want to play more of the indie ones like Hollow Knight. Uh, shout out to my friend Christian who uh, was just beating the hell out of that game and make me want to play it more and more. Uh, but yeah, this the really hard uh you know uh hard to learn games where you have to really study your enemy movements and uh just kind of find out the game for yourself lords of fallen was a good one of that too and neo too and neo in general is just about to hit so we'll finally get some more dark souls like action or blood blood souls whatever you want to call it uh catherine was amazing i did play the remake of that we actually have the uh right here uh, I really should uh, show more of these but yes this is the uh, 
Catherine collectors we got really cool comes with a whole bunch of stuff and like a sheep that I can uh, cuddle with when I'm scared at night <laughs> but yes we do have that I actually have a bunch of stuff uh, hanging right in front of me that I would love to show off to you guys uh, at some point maybe I'll do a more get to know me type videos if you guys like these please let me know but just wanted to show you that uh, PlayStation Now has really opened up a lot of games for me. Uh, if, if you're willing to pay it, I think they did just drop the price and they kind of made it more accessible. They're pushing them out, pushing it more uh, with Asso's Wrath. And they took Dead Rising 2. That is the uh, off the record. That is the only one I haven't finished. I'm really sad I didn't finish that back in the day. Uh, of course, played uh, all the Devil May Cries. Uh, every time they release it, I always buy it, rebuy it, play it again, beat it, have fun, still have the same heartwarming feeling I did I, when I played it back in the day for the first time. Uh, actually, when I got a PS2, I got the Resident Evil Code Veronica X with it, and it came with a demo of Devil May Cry. Played the demo way more than I did the game, although Code Veronica did uh, end up being my favorite Resident Evil old school. Uh, of course, we played uh, Metal Gear Solid, Phantom Pain. Uh, I I got to say that one, that's just kind of a sore for me with the way that whole game ended up in K Kojima and uh, basically kind of rushing the ending. Um, so I'm just going to say Metal Gear Solid 4 was really the swan song for me. Uh, if you guys played that, let me know. You know, let me know how you guys feel about the Metal Gear. I'm a huge fan. Uh, <coughs> sorry guys bear with me here uh so yeah played all the crash bandicoots actually platinumed crash bandicoot one two and uh three i was just kind of going yep they're all there all the platinums are there so if you guys know the difficulty of that god it seems i'm only at like a fourth of the way through my games and i feel like this wasn't even that long ago but i play a lot of games so evil within two there's my boy cold veronica x Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy, also a Telltale uh, game, really good. I just feel like everything they nailed for me out of the park, personally, yeah, those games get a little slow. Like, as you can see with Life is Strange, but um, the moments that you really care about come quick, <laughs> and, they, and they hit you hard. Digimon World, can't wait for Digimon Survive coming out. If anyone knows anything about that game, I keep searching, and I feel like nothing is... Uh, actually ever coming from that game they kind of do a, an occasional uh, trailer and stuff but uh, never really get any real info anyway they are coming out with the show uh, last evolution which I'm really excited for I think they're playing that on March 25th I'm gonna see that in theaters uh, got to huge fan LA Noir amazing I think that is an underrated gem by Rockstar um, the technology was very good. I think they really just played up the facial motion caps or too much, and you couldn't really do anything in that game except the actual game, uh, the campaign. There wasn't many side quests and other things to do, so I think that one just fell short. <coughs> uh, for uh, a lot of people. Sorry, guys. I'm still uh, kind of recovering from getting sick, but I really just wanted to put this video out. Uh, let you go let you guys know I'm still here. I'm still alive. Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of networking I haven't really gained too many uh, Followers or people checking out the channel, but looks like we do have a couple uh, People even in my local subway. I kind of go and mention my channel, but I guess that's how it starts, right? We start from uh, somewhere uh, But yeah, hope you guys are having a great day um, Just go out do what you want to do. It doesn't matter if no one's watching me. I don't care if no one's watching me. I'm just doing this uh, for fun and because I've always wanted to just uh, make a gaming channel. Even if, you know, I literally have zero viewers right now. I had a couple. I had had a couple. I think it's just kind of casual right now uh, with the build up. But yeah, Okami, Platinum Okami. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. I'm just kind of talking to you guys now. Uh, Okami. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, also cell shaded games. I'm gonna always just say any game cell shaded is uh, deserves a huge shout out just for that uh, art form. <laughs> Everything doesn't have to look like God of War, you know, or Detroit Become Human, which I think will actually come up. I uh, love all the Dark Siders. You know, growing up, I didn't play many Nintendo games, and Zelda was kind of a game I really missed out on growing up. And uh, I always heard Dark Siders like, yeah, it's kind of like a. Legend of Zelda, Metroidvania, 
type experience and uh, just had to check it out and i think that's exactly what we got uh yeah rhyme there's the shadow of the Colossus remake uh for this one i actually did the uh complete hard mode in under five hours and 41 minutes <coughs> uh 2.8 percent i actually did that in my first run uh i just started on hard and see what i could did uh i usually kind of beat the campaigns see how far i want to take the uh bonus missions and the side quests um i should turn my stuff on here just in case anyone starts subbing or watching me or anything like that um <laughs> just want to make sure but uh yep digimon story cyber sleuth this is hacker's memory there's also regularly uh cyber sleuth i think those games were i mean they were kind of were copy paste of each other they just had just enough but um yep resident Evil five uh before the storm we did end up getting the platinum for life is strange before the storm this is the story the prequel story with chloe uh before she kind of starts hanging out with Maxine again, and uh, you know, we open up that can of worms, and uh, yep, and we also got the platinum for Final Fantasy uh, 15. I have never been a huge Final Fantasy player, and this game hooked me. I uh, even played some of the DLCs, and I know, uh, of course, this is again one of those games that kind of had a rough start, but really brought it back. They even, and they keep adding DLC. Uh, I guess they did cancel a lot of kind of the more recent dlcs i think yeah this arden is the last one and they were gonna have more but they had to cancel it um i love i also love just uh histories and people talking about games so sorry if i'm kind of going out of tangents here but i'm just really excited to share you guys uh you know all, all this knowledge and things that i keep up on and hopefully just spread it to you so maybe you become a little more interested and want to just hang out and uh game up with me anytime yeah, here we go. Uh, they released all the Devil May Cries again on PS4, and of course, I bought them all and played them all again. Beyond Two Souls, uh, again, Quantum uh, Quantum Dream, uh, who also did Detroit Become Human. And uh, back in the day, I think it was called Dreamfall uh, or Dreamcatcher or something, uh, but always wanted to play that. I heard really good things, and I never got around to it. Uh, able to get the Platinum for God of War, of course. I mean... <laughs> I think this game has sold uh, well over 10 million units now, and it's sitting at about 5% uh, platinum rating, <coughs> which is still really good. Uh, very good for a platinum, especially um, a first-party Sony game, uh, and the, one of the, I mean, arguably the biggest one. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll kind of see a lot of that. I mean, with all these Telltale games, yeah, I mean, here, 20, uh, 23%. Has the Batman enemy within, and uh, this is the uh, season two of the Telltale Batman, and this is uh, had one of, I mean, for me, I don't read a lot of Batman lore or Joker lore for that matter, but this had one of the greatest Joker uh, tales and character builds I have ever seen. I think we've seen so many iterations of Joker uh, at this point, and uh, you know, especially even mainstream. Uh, and that was a really, really good tale of Joker. And uh, Troy Baker actually voices Batman, so he's uh, everywhere. I could probably uh, grab half of these games off these lists, and Troy Baker is probably in it somewhere. Rayman Legends actually was a huge hit for me. Um, it was one of the free games. And uh, just love the musically inclined uh, run-through attachment. Um and the in the quick gameplay you know it's it's really nice where you can just find things you can just sit down with and play right away um not having to worry about uh getting into menus and and stuff you'd find for like dragon ball fighters you know trying to get an online match or something like that uh, detroit become human i loved incredibly uh the actors look amazing and uh seeing it on ps4 tech uh Two's Beyond Two Souls came out last gen on PS3, and even that game, I mean, looked, I'd say, almost even, uh, definitely better than Last of Us. And Last of Us is the swan song of PS3. Uh, so seeing uh, Quan, uh, Quantic, I'm getting the, the name wrong, Quantic Dream, uh, they really know how to take that tech in the, in the facial capture, you know, even a step above L.A. Noir, and L.A. Noir is pretty much the staple for 
facial capture. I had to play the order. It took me a long time. I finally did it. Uh, it was awesome. I actually was able to platinum it without a guide or anything, really. I kind of just played through the game, and we were able to do it. So, you know, when I can do those things, I will. We played all the Uncharted's on the crushing difficulty. There's always going to be two difficulties for me that I'll decipher. And it's either going to be the crushing difficulty from Uncharted, or it's going to be the Dante Must Die mode from Devil May Cry. I love it when developers will take these uh, modes and make them their own, you know, but they still sound hard as shit. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, really just need some uh, vitamin C. Again, Arizona RX Energy, 100%. It's great stuff. Uh, it helps maintain, you know, um, just eating and stuff. But yeah, XCOM 2, I uh, loved XCOM 2. I actually got super into it. And then there's just sometimes in games where you hit uh, a wall uh, and you never can get over that wall. Uh, I, I, I think I have to just reboot it at this point. Uh, you know, because once you make a mistake in that game, uh, everything's all real time and you lose people. It's kind of really hard to come back from that. It's like uh, playing a game of Civilization or, uh, you know, Risk or something where... You fall into a dark hole, and that hole is really hard to get out of. Uh, but, you know, maybe that's the fun of it. I don't know. I really do want to get back on it. But uh, but then it looks like I started playing the Uncharted's again. Uh, yes, it did work. Uh, all the gold trophies there for beating and crushing. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, we got the Platinum. I, I think I have most of the first-party Sony Platinums here. Uh, I didn't do New Game Plus, but I did do the Frozen Wilds. And uh, just uh, Platinum in the main game. Got all the trophies there. You know, uh, the the first party Sony games are pretty straightforward uh, as far as trophies go. Uh, you know, beat the game. Um, and then they'll kind of do the DLC trophies where it's uh, beat the game on New Game Plus and, uh, and then you'll kind of do all the side work for it. But, you know, enjoyable, uh, most of the time, meaningful trophies. <laughs> Um, and we'll see more of that with uh, more of that soon here. Yep, had to play Grand Theft Auto V. I mean, the story. I'm, I never uh, was a huge Grand Theft Auto guy. You know, I was always kind of the guy just running around. <coughs> you know, uh, just shooting people and, you know, whatever. That's what most of uh, people play. And now the online is, you know, one of the biggest, uh, I think is the most highest gross grossing online game still. Um, as far as microtransactions, even more than Fortnite, I think. Um, but yeah, played through Mad Max, gave Mad Max an honest playthrough. I think I got to two thirds of the game and I just did not beat it. Uh, I was just kind of milking. I was really going for a lot of the collectibles and stuff, and I thought I was really going to finish it. I uh, haven't yet. We'll see if that ever happens. Again, we're just uh, about making it, you know, barely to half halfway through the list here or just about halfway i had to give near on automata a playthrough near was um a truly awesome fast paced you know devil may cry type experience and i can't pass up on those i really can't uh dragon's dogma just a couple games i tried uh i couldn't really get a dogma okay all right getting caught with my hand in the cookie jar here i did play midnight deluxe just uh trophy boost thing here okay we all have one um you know an enjoyable game super easy platinum uh pretty much all gold and silver so i gotta thank uh, my buddy george for that one he uh forced me in a trophy boost for a hot second uh i love trophy boosting it's a lot of fun a lot of people don't see the thrill in it but uh you know if you, i really just like taking the next step and saying yep i did it um but here we go south park fracture but hole i'll i know i don't play games just for the trophies except for midnight deluxe <laughs> uh every other game is completely legit uh yeah south park fractured but hole uh, amazing stuff i did play stick of truth on my old account i did have to change accounts a couple of years ago um so we have that just making sure the stream is all good and stuff 
Dead Rising 4, just had to play it because I was a huge Dead Rising fan, gave it the classic campaign playthrough, I beat the whole thing, and they really did just do a disservice to Frank. Uh, yeah, they didn't even have TJ Rodolo. Uh, TJ Rodolo, I believe that's his name, as the voice actor for Frank, and um, he, they just made him some dumb bimbo. Of course, Bioshocks are awesome, and I believe Bioshock was is this game's free game so make sure you check out your free games always make sure if you're a plus member guys that you're checking your free games uh took me a while to remember to keep doing that and um even getting playstation plus took me a while uh when you know uh, money's tight and it's hard to subscribe to these things but uh oh uh, yep bioshock infinite came with the whole collection so pretty much just campaign through all those did what i could got some gold trophies uh, now back to the future the game is a telltale game uh, there's a couple of these games on here that are telltale and uh, you know pretty much from most telltale games you can just play the game you'll get all the trophies super easy uh, but for this game there's a couple of them here if you notice so uh, you actually really do have to pay attention, and if you do some of these in the in the wrong order, or you don't do something the right way, you can end up completely missing the trophy, and you'd have to play, you know, pretty much the whole episode again to get some of these trophies, like 10% uh, for some of these ones, um, there's probably even lower ones, the, uh, looks like the Platinum was 7.6, but, uh, I remember there was a couple, you know, I had a guide doing this, so listen to all the tourist audio guides, collect every demerit in the game that one is actually i remember that i think that one is the hardest one collecting every demerit i think that was uh what set a lot of people from winning the platinum on this game uh sorry i don't mean to be talking about this game so much had a conversation with a cactus yeah that one was pretty hard recorded everyone at the expo so yeah and if you notice about these story uh based uh episode games you'll notice that the episodes you know people just don't stick with it completely legit uh heavy rain also another quantic dream game so anything that's huge in the single player first start, I don't play every game, but uh, I do play a lot of them. And uh, Heavy Rain is, is was was very good. I tried to go for the platinum for that, but we're talking, you know, lots of different endings. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you just can't get them all. By the way, huge shout out to my boy Kev, who gave me this awesome. Just gonna blow it up for you guys. This awesome uh, controller skin, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters controller skin. It's got. Uh, he got me a bunch of them. I wish I could shout out the uh, the designer. I didn't see where he got them from, but I just want to show you guys that real quick since we're going through stuff here. Before we get some of them to cry, yeah, Absolver gave that a couple. Uh, Dead Rising Two. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here for you guys. I definitely want to play a little bit of. Uh, Devil May Cry with you, but wanted to just uh, yeah. show you guys what I've been going here. Uh, just a lot of Sonic games. Once I got PlayStation Now, I kind of went crazy on a lot of old games that I uh, was kind of playing. All the Batman, Sonic Adventures. Um, just games that um, really got me into gaming growing up. Kind of Mario Forever. Finally played Persona 5. I had to, you know, there's games you hear about where they're like, you have to play this game. You have to. And I think Persona 5 was 100% one of those games. Uh, kind of like Witcher and, you know, God of War. Um, so, yep, played God of War 3 Remastered. And then uh, I know I played a couple of the other ones here. Um, just kind of checking some games out. I like to just play a lot of games, see what sticks. Played a lot of Soul Calibur, of course. We, we love the fighting games, guys. I'm still kind of debating if I want to get Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that game. If I should pick that up. Uh, Burly Minute C. Okay, Burly Minute C is kind of a trophy game. Um, but it's kind of cool. Pick your own adventures. Yes, yeah, so we played all the Spyros. We had to play other crashes. Actually, I did not play Spyro uh, 3. I, I think I was getting bogged down with some games. Yeah, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is kind of in the same uh, time frame. Uh, well, that's what it looks like anyway. All the trophies are kind of lined up that way. But, uh, yeah, checked out Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Dragon Quest uh, was always, always, always a series I wanted to... Uh, just try 
seems like at the right time with Dragon Quest XI uh, coming on PS4 it looked great. Uh, yeah, I think I put about 100 hours into that game. There's there's going to be a couple of these here. I think I missed Nino Kuni too. I mean, that should be coming up somewhere. Nino Kuni uh, was also a game I got the Platinum for. Um, uh, again, cell shaded, beautiful, uh, lots of awesome gameplay with characters, Psychonauts, had to replay that game. And there's Double May Cry 4 Special Edition, so uh, put a good amount of work into that one. Uh, looks like I cleared all. I didn't play, uh, I did play Dante Mesa. I did beat it back in the day, uh, but again, you know, with all the accounts and replaying games, uh, I lost a lot of, a lot of data. Here we go, Marvel Spider-Man, 100%. <coughs> uh, every, 100% in every DLC. I mean, this game was the bee's knees. Uh, did DLC just right. Gave the new game plus, uh, trophy, completing an ultimate, um, you know, and this game has 8.9. I think it had even a 10 or 11% uh, trophy rating, uh, platinum rating back in the day. And just so you know, platinum is doing pretty much everything in the game in case you guys uh, uh, don't really necessarily know what platinum means. But that's usually completing the whole game, doing all the side quests, doing really weird miscellaneous things. Uh, yeah, greet 10 citizens, collect 5 backpacks, and then there's stuff like, you know, beating Doc Ock, complete Act 2, all that good stuff. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, tried Dead Cells, couldn't get into that. So I do want to play Hollow Knight. I think I'll get a little bit more, which is on PlayStation now. Have that downloaded. Hitman 2 uh, was amazing. Actually, this is, I did beat the whole game. I do have 40%, 42% here for the actual game. They just did all this weird DLC where you kind of would play the first game and the second game. I'm not really sure how the public felt about that, but I think that was kind of really stingy to kind of sell you two games at once uh but you know still love hitman still really uh fun truly crafted experience and some really detailed thought out level designs i mean level design uh, is top notch in hitman 2 100 percent recommend it if you ever get the chance uh yeah, Wolfenstein 2, New Colossus, had to had to just check out uh, Wolfenstein 2. It was making uh, kind of a big splash. I thought the graphics looked really cool. Uh, Gundam Versus, had to get my Gundams in. I would build so many of the model kits back in the day. Love me my Gundam. Love me my Wing Zero and my G Gundam. Uh, yeah, Fist of the North Star is kind of a lot like Yakuza. Yakuza, so also a very cell shaded game. Had to give that game just a quick playthrough. <laughs> There's New Gun Breaker. Did a lot there. Soma. Now, this one is 100%. No platinum. Some of these games don't have platinums. You kind of just uh, run through it. But it looks like uh, about 12% beat this game uh, on PlayStation. Uh, really great experience from the guys who made Amnesia. Uh, Abzu, of course, a very awesome water-centric. I kind of love the marine life. I really did try to play Subnautica. Uh, didn't quite get into it. I think we'll see that in a little bit. Kingdom Hearts 3 did get the deals, uh, the platinum for 3.5%. Um, you know, a lot of these, you'll see like 96, a lot of people will play the first 10, 20 minutes, get the first trophy. And even, you know, there's a, there's like 10% drop in between the first trophy and the next trophy. I mean, it just, it can drop really hard and, uh, if you just see as we go down the list here, this is a prime example, I think, of people slowly kind of trickling off. Um, but it does look like, uh, you know, half of the people uh, that bought this game on PlayStation did finish it. So that's really cool. And then we just get a lot of this weird, obscure stuff. Like, um, yeah, use the gummy ship to find all photograph. Uh, score at least 12 million points in the Virum Rex beat of lead. Um a lot of weird game stuff there's a lot of cool little mini games in kingdom hearts 3 <coughs> whether they're worth playing or not is completely another story i have been meaning to check out this uh remind dlc reach the highest pro code merit rank clear kingdom hearts the dlc eliminate one darkness in the data scape eliminate 13 okay so that is uh you fight organization 13 i think they literally just do a callback to uh 
how they did Kingdom Hearts 2 where you could refight all of Organization 13 in kind of one room. Uh, defeat Yazora, yeah, so you can actually hit square on uh, hidden trophies to see what they say. Um, so it looks like I don't really know if I if I want to get that Dark Side of Three. Gave it a go. Jump for us. Oh man, that's such a such a hard game for me to um, fathom. It's uh, it was a great game. Uh, it was fun to play with my homies, but man, that game just just dropped. Yeah, Onimusha. There's a Subnautica. I didn't get it. The Surge. Uh, yeah, didn't I actually haven't beat the Surge. I did beat the Surge too. Um, I guess I just didn't stick with that one. I guess I was playing other things like Long Dark. Sometimes I'll check out a lot of games at once. Some will fall through the cracks. I uh, love playing Overcooked with my homies. Here it is. Uh, Kini no Kuni 2 is an amazing game. Uh, I did play uh, all the DLC when they uh, released everything. Defeated the Great Mad Shadow. Yeah, and only 1% of people did some of these things. Especially, you know, when the, uh, the game's DLC comes out like a year later. Um, but we did get the platinum. Looks like six percent. Uh, got that Sekiro. Got the platinum for Sekiro. You have to play, beat this game four times, and uh, eight point four percent. That is uh, an impressively high number for this game. Uh, you know, it looks like the the overall completion is generally low. So defeated all bosses is only ten point eight percent. Um, so a lot of these upgrading prosthetic tools, and then you will kind of get down to the actual beating of the game. So all these are the different endings, attain the sure ending, return ending. So all these stacked up, you know, a lot of people did actually complete this game, but still generally pretty low. Uh, if you see acquired the Shinobi prosthetic, that's like the, or this one right here. Uh, receive the Kusubimaro from Kuro. That's kind of the first one. And then we kind of already see the drops on uh, some of these bosses. It is a hard game. So getting to the end uh, takes great commitment. But with any Dark Souls or Blood Souls like Syrians, it is completely worth it. Days Gone. Got the Platinum for Days Gone. Uh, was really looking forward to this game. Uh, again, the classic New Game Plus. Um complete the story of days gone on hard two or survival two uh so i haven't done any of this <laughs> looks like they did add a lot to this game mysterious weapon earned earn your first medal yeah, and they kind of added a lot of uh challenges um yeah and then they look like they uh <laughs> Feed a horde in under one minute survival mode. So it looks like there's some really added some a lot of fun things there. Didn't complete what remains of Edith Fish. Uh, here's all the yep, Dark Souls. I was really big into that. Uh, did beat the last Walking Dead season. I was really glad they were able to finish that. There was, um, you know, they released the first couple episodes and then Telltale went under and then they were finally able to kind of bring back and give us the last episodes but man i was really pissed i thought i wasted money that I'd never see again <laughs> it's funny how some of these game things go sometimes when you get caught up in the uh financial aspect of it all uh dark souls remastered yep so finally got through all that bloodborne beat bloodborne a couple times tetris effect it was an amazing journey uh and i say that literally they kind of act like the game is a journey of finding and building yourself and i wish i could just stream that game for some of the music and uh just the puzzle building uh highly recommend tetris effect uh to get that boy is blob shadow of the beast metal gear saw three just gonna kind of keep it going here we're already at about 40 minutes sorry guys i hope you're having a great day just kind of hanging out with me and um enjoying checking out some of these awesome games with me maybe you uh can relate and uh, just looking at some of these games. Yeah, and then I did play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, the first one again, Crash Team Racing. Had to play that. Here we go, DMC5. <coughs> it's been a while since I've uh, did any of that. Bloody Palace, man, this is so hard. Clear Bloody Palace with all characters. Okay, so I'm going to play Bloody Palace. 
and I'm gonna play one with Dante, and I think I've gotten to like uh, level 67, and I think if I really tried and practiced all day, I could probably do it, but man, it is tough. It is not easy, especially with all characters, and I'm pretty good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just a couple things I, I wish I could wrap up, but I did complete the game on Dante Must Die Mode. Uh, and I could probably do a couple here. Hell, uh, Heaven or Hell mode is a mode where, um, if your enemy take one hit, they dies. And if you take one hit, you die. And then Hell and Hell is just, you take one hit, you're dead. And every other enemy is just as, uh, insane as, uh, Dante must die mode. So careful with that one. Uh, so yeah, we'll be playing that shortly. Definitely had to play Doom. Haven't gotten through Fallout. Control was able to Platinum Control. Control was amazing. Huge shout out to this game. Uh, I mean, you know, there was some hiccups, but uh, with the uh, the graphics, and I know on PC it had ray tracing and uh, really a, a true step. Uh, felt like a true next gen game. Uh, looks like we have 9.2% uh, Platinum rating there. Uh, there's Catherine full body. Uh, so gave that uh, yeah played through monster hard word finally I did kind of play through that one casually by myself and with a couple buddies online here and there and I uh, did some iceborne stuff didn't complete iceborne but just had to see it for myself huge 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 Capcom fan um, so I had to check it out yep and then uh, beat surge 2 um, which was a huge step up, step up from surge 1 in my opinion uh, completely and utterly huge step up uh, yeah, Last of Us Remastered, gave that one a, a playthrough on Grounded. Uh, played the Left Behind DLC, wish I kind of streamed some of these stuff, but um, <clears throat> do want to give it a, one more playthrough before 2 comes out. Guilty Gear, uh, I'm really kind of was getting into more of the, the fighters, and I just wanted to see what Guilty Gear was all about. Of course, we played some good Tekken 7. And uh, I Am Brad, all these kind of lower, lesser known games. You can take a kind of look through them as I scroll through. But yeah, Medieval uh, almost got the Platinum 4. But there was just, you know, sometimes there's some things that I'm just saying, eh. Uh, and just so you know, the way the trophies go is uh, bronze trophies are 15. Uh, silver, 30 points. Uh, gold trophies are 90 and then platinums are 180 points and that kind of stacks up to make your uh, overall level which I'll show you once I get out of here but did not platinum death stranding we had a great time with that looks like 2.2 did that um I just man this game is was so polar uh polarifically divisive um just in terms I mean if we look at um so 98% of people completed the uh, prologue. And then if we look, uh, only about 27% of the people actually made it through the uh, rest of the campaign and beat it. Um, so a little low there, but uh, you know I can see how that game was really easy to fall off of. But man, when I was playing the game, I loved it. When I wasn't playing it, I was thinking about playing it. And uh, truly one of those mesmerizing games. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was going to get the platinum, but I just had fun with the campaign. Decided, you know what? That's good enough for me. Good job, EA. Thank you for finally putting out a great game, even though, I mean, that was developed by Respawn. Uh, still have yet to beat God of War Ascension. Uh, kind of fell off Sinking City a little bit. There's Code Vein. Uh, again, the Dark Souls like experience. So gave that a run through and beat that. Uh, Judgment also from the creators of Yakuza. Um, also heard uh, this was an amazing game that kind of slipped on under the radar as a lot of games do. <laughs> but I had to play that. Uh, there's Resident Evil. Um, I think I did trade in uh, Metro exodus here yeah it looks like i did i only have resident Evil 7 and uh fifa and a bunch of other little weird games uh we got the platinum for resident evil 2 uh did found the jill letter getting real excited for resident evil 3 nemesis remake uh coming out april april 3rd yeah, so I uh, did that, and it uh, looks like, yeah, 3.3%, uh, so a little bit lower on the uh, Platinum. Oh, uh, there is kind of a lot of work involved with that one, commitment work. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters has 0.1%, and that is all because 
to this guy right here. 0.1%. Acquire 20 million Zenny throughout the course of playing. Like, that's just insane. I've been playing this game for, uh, you know, it's in its third year now. And I think I just not too long ago, uh, yeah, acquired the 5 million. And, I mean, that's, God, it's still, you know, I'd love to get that and just grind it out. I guess you play hard mode, but <coughs> I don't know, guys. We'll see. Did get the uh, platinum for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Looks like 5% of people have gotten that. Um, and it's really not a hard platinum at all. You don't even have to really do everything. Um, yeah, so we're working on Life is Strange 2. And that brings us to pretty much uh, where we're at at the top. Uh, playing Metal Gear Rising uh, Revengeance. I was just going to play a quick uh, Devil May Cry with you guys. Yeah, so here's the awesome uh, Ellie uh, theme. So maybe, guys, if you like it, you can check that out here. I'm going to uh, just get on the DMC. We got the login bonus, the gold orbs. They st I'm surprised they still hand this out. Uh, but thanks, guys, for watching. We're just going to play, uh, you know, 20 rounds of Dante DMC. God, this uh, opener is so cool. And the... Devil May Cry. Looks like we got uh, Dante that time. Every time it starts, I think after you beat the game or if you get the voice soundtrack, it's a different voice every time. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, last time we did uh, Bloody Palace with Nero, stage 20. Uh, and you can just kind of continue from there, but I would love to uh, play a Dante one with you guys. It's been a minute. Um, but uh, definitely just want to show you guys the difference between Nero. If you look at the Nero, Nero has a lot of the grappling techniques. And uh, he's just kind of uh, in-your-face badass. Dante is also an in-your-face badass. We're just going to go OG. Uh, super, as opposed to original, is um, you have infinite devil triggers. So you can just keep you know spamming that. But man, I have... So much fun with my boy Dante. You can even customize his layout, as you can see, kind of in the bottom right there. Uh, I'm going to be using just the... Uh, I always go crazy over this, but uh, the Devil Sword Dante, the um, Cerberus Ifer Gauntlets, the, uh, the Ifer Gauntlets, and the Cerberus uh, Nunchaku, and then we have, of course, the... Uh, special motorcycle weapon and uh, bear with me guys it has been a little bit since i've played uh, you can see all my stats up there so let's see if we can still play this game a little bit <coughs> after i take a big swig of this they're gonna keep going on me here and we're gonna have fun so i can uh use my uh oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we can uh, use our a uh, little bit quicker. They just threw me into that uh, our D pad. We'll change our stance. So with Trickster, I have better mobility options. But if I do Swordmaster, then I can do a whole bunch of this really crazy sword stuff. And uh, again, uh, as I was saying, kind of with uh, Nero, we do triangle, triangle pauses to do certain uh, combos and effects. And I just got to uh, just kind of press the buttons here and feel them because I can. I have full customizable options of combos and stuff. But we're just going to keep playing here. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, so I like to uh, trick in them here and uh, just really get all up in their business. And uh, do a little taunt there just to show him who's boss. Oh, and he got me with it again. And uh, of course, we're just going to kick their ass there. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get it, guys. We're going to have some fun here. They like to get a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> Coming down on him. I've always liked the uh, gauntlets the, the most. I feel like they're just uh, a lot of fun. Oh, oh yep. He's going to tap me. 
Yeah, so uh, when we have the uh, sword style equipped, if you hit circle, that's what gives you the action button. So these uh, nunchakus will turn into ice chucks, circle will turn into the flame, and then if you hold it, you'll uh, do the uh, uh, electrical moves. So there's a lot of different options you can do with that there, and then it only gets crazier with the uh, with this guy right here. Oh, that was actually really cool. We actually clashed with him. And then I was able to get him in the face really kick it, uh, quick and destroy him like instantaneously. If you see their faces like that, just give them a quick pop in the face. And they go. So you gotta always have to kind of constantly uh, remind yourself what weapon you have here. Woo! Oh, I didn't miss with him. But, uh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm so rusty, guys. I used to be a little more uh, quicker on it, but uh. A little more quick on it with the combos, but that's okay. The old dog can still learn new trucks. Like Zoink Scoob! <sighs> but no matter what, I'll always just get um, mega hype playing this game. Again, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, enjo enjoying with me some awesome combos here, and this guy's about to get it here. Ooh, uh... Yeah, we, uh, I don't use the Gunslinger that much, but uh, the Gunslinger is really cool to uh, do some cool twirly tricks in the air and get really flashy with it. Uh, Get that revency. There we go. There was a pretty cool combo right there. Yeah, those guys were nothing. We should just snap it and go, baby. Oh, Dante is so. I mean, Dante is always going to be a fave, fave OG here. Oh, double chair. Oh, yep. Oh. So uh, right there we're using a trick where you can just uh, quick swap off between uh, swords and... Uh... Uh. These uh, really like to heal their own assholes here. Woo. Dante's really cool because uh, his uh, uh, stuff is, uh, sorry, I can't think of words right now. Ah, he got me. Uh, but his uh, trickster can really uh, come in handy. Uh, oh, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep, we countered with him. Oh, that felt good. Oh, ah. Yeah, so just make sure always to go Devil Trigger when you uh, get caught up in that. Oh, but I don't have it right here, so I gotta eat it. Uh, ah. But if you have the, uh, again, the Trickster, you can uh, skirp out of it. Uh, 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 and skirp out of it and take revenge. 
<laughs> so uh, that's always a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that guy's gonna try and take a swipe at us. Again, you gotta be really careful with these guys, otherwise they're gonna really gang up on you like they were doing to me right there. I had to give him the burn on the ball. Sorry guys, getting real excited. I mean, that's why I've always caught this game. You know, when a game gives you a feeling like how I'm getting right now, uh, you know you have a winner on your hands. I just, if uh, you notice, I just use the, uh, uh, the, uh, I use the shotgun as nunchucks. Yeah, so I flipped him up the air and then I switched my sword and I gave him a good hacking, slacking, wagging, packing. <laughs> ah, that's always a lot of fun. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Sorry, I've been taunting a lot, guys, but. I should, I always, I mean, that's the most important part of this game. Oh, here we go. This guy wants it. Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> Woo! Get a juggle! Woo! Oh! I love everything he's done. Come on, come at me, boy! Come at me, boy! Let's rip it up! Man, if only I had some uh, gameplay when I was really good at this game. Uh, I've gotten really stale, but we're getting there, guys. Ah, you just start to feel it. I mean, I'm starting to feel it, but mostly just want to, you know, spread the love with you guys. If you've never picked up Devil May Cry, really highly recommend it. Man, this game is so cool. Man, I'm about to just wreck this guy a new one. Ah, ah, there we go. Hmm. This should make things easier. This should make things easier. Yeah, so he finally gets Demon Sword Dante. This is, uh... Board. Uh, Demon Sword Dante. He's been using Demon Sword Sparta, and that's kind of been the uh, one of the main key uh, keys to the Demon World. And in Devil May Cry 5, it's really cool because Dante finally surpasses his father in power and gets his own namesake sword, uh, Devil Sword Dante, uh, and that gives him access to uh, every one of his. <laughs> Uh, every one of his moves that he's ever had. Come on, show me what Come you on. Got. Now I'm gonna get the taunts in there for you guys, because you guys have been so good with me today. So special. Thank you for joining with me. I mean, really, I'm just doing this to have fun with you. Uh, I've been trying to promote the page a little bit, so hopefully I'm uh, reaching some fun and awesome people. That, uh, Enjoy gaming just as much as I do, uh, and uh, hopefully we can share many uh, adventures together. Uh. 
Gotta move fast. Oh, oh they do not like this roadkill. Oh, oh expression on oh, double trigger. Oh, I was telling I just had to tell with them in double trigger just because it looked cool. I just gotta throw up the staff, the fire staff in there a little bit. It's got this really cool move that I want to show you guys uh, before we get too deep into it here. I think I'll do it right here if I can get to it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna run to it. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was gonna run to it. Yeah, this enemy is really good to uh, kind of keep using uh, the nunchucks because uh, he'll get really caught up in your bullshit if uh, you keep countering his stuff. So you really just want to counter. That's kind of a huge part to this game. Looks like we're on 18. We're going to 19, and then we're going to fight our burial buddy boss from Walmart. <clears throat> and then I think it's going to do it for me today, I guess, but I just really wanted to uh, play some awesome to my cry. I know we're just doing the first 20 missions. There's 100 in these, by the way. Uh, but it looks like we can have this one, uh, a really fun one here. Got to go fast. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, you think you're through? He's like, alright, I'm gonna run away. Yeah, so if you uh, do trick, you can disappear on everybody with R1 forward circle. The combination of these buttons is basically R1 forward backward face button. So it's really important to always kind of keep R1 held unless you're doing a taunt, because uh, actually they do have direct taunts. Uh, in front of everyone in this game. So yeah, it looks like we are coming up on the boss. We'll beat Burial. We'll say our goodbyes and then we'll call the day for Dube Radical. But let's go fight this big ass mofo dude, all right? <laughs> See if we can do it here. Just wanted to really connect with you all today. Let you know I'm still alive. Just been sick. I've uh, been busy. You know, life gets busy, but again, as always, guys, follow your dreams. Fight big hairy monsters if you can. We're gonna put all of our devil may cry devilness into this one here when we get a second. Uh, really, it's just about keeping your ground with this guy and uh, uh, just do it, chipping your damage at him if you can here. Uh, gonna go right into him here. Ooh. It's a spicy meatball. Yeah, usually you can keep uh, kind of jumping and, uh, man, it's uh, old and it's been a minute for me. But yeah, right there, I just kind of uh, keep, uh... <laughs> yep, I just teleported right in his butthole. And uh, here I'm going to actually be defensive, start running all the way back, and then we can keep uh, teleporting right back on his butthole again. Uh, you can get some Devil May Cry triggers in there. Uh, he really doesn't like any of this stuff, but uh, yeah, now we can uh, give him one of these. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yep, which will do a lot of damage there. Uh, yep, Cap is there, he's really mean, and he's uh, late for his shift at Walmart. Yeah, if you keep uh, on him, he's uh, not going to like that. And, uh, and if uh, you keep hitting circle, you can uh, really get him on with uh, scurping around him. Okay, guys. And I think it's time we finish it! to fight with the devil, but we'll give him the devil, all right. 
He's found the devil. Oh, he has one health left. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I knew I should have got one more spin in there. But, uh, yeah, that is a special uh, Dante only devil trigger move. We're going to true devil trigger if you fill up that red bar. And then if you hit triangle and square at the same time, you can do that really nasty, super invincible attack where you just take anyone down in the whole field. Plus, you know, if they have like one or two health left. Oh, well, guys, it's been a beautiful uh, episode with you guys. Figured I'd show you some games. Figured I'd get a little excited with you with the RX energy. Man, I'm bored. Looks like Dante's bored. Looks like we've just killed everyone we could for the day. Uh, just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Oh my. Uh, thank you again for watching. Please have a great day. Go and take your dreams by the balls. Uh, just tell everyone that you can do it. Believe in yourself. And hopefully the people that love and support you will actually will love and support you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, keep your vitamin C up. Have a great day. Uh, and as always, whoa, had some crazy stuff with the pictures. We will be right back. <laughs>